Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four powerful decks of cards today. I'm also going to do something a bit different because at the end I'm going to bring in you a feminine power message. Something that's going to help you to be able to stand strong on this journey and remember your power. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. Now, I am feeling intuitively there's lots of decisions taking place within the masculine's mind. They're very aware of what they need to do and what they need to change to be with you. So let them do it, Divine Feminine. Let them do it their way because that's how they'll prove to you that this love is real. So we're going to bring in the Divine Masculine 101 to begin with to connect with their heart space and their higher self and to see what they really want you to know. So I've got a few cards jumping out here. And I've got a card here as well. I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Dark Truths Come to Light. So what do they want to share from their 3D and their 5D self? One card coming out, very powerful. And I'm going to bring in as well the Divine Timing cards because, you know, it's always good to find out when in their mind they intend to reach out to you or to be with you. So from their perspective, from the Divine Masculine's perspective... When can you expect them? When can you expect them? So we've got a couple of cards here. This one flew out the deck. So I feel that one's important. And then I want to do a Divine Feminine Message Tarot. So what do you need to know? Now it's really interesting because yesterday especially, I connected with an itching thumb. And today I've got like, um, one of my nails is split down. And when I experience these things, it always happens for a reason. And when we experience things with the thumb, the thumbnail or the thumb itself, it's connected with ego and intellect and the mind and trying to understand and process. And they give me tooth pain, which is connected with decisions. So the masculines are definitely in this battle with themselves to make these right decisions. They're very frustrated and angry at themselves because they've wanted to make these decisions and changes for a long time. But it feels like they've never had the you know, the kind of motivation or the things haven't really fell into place for them in that moment. But it's all changed now with the Lionsgate portal when that came in because it's created the way. So it's like the right time is here now. So your masculine is saying, I think about kissing you. I think about kissing you. I think about caressing you. I think about how that will feel, what it will taste like, the smell of you, the smell of your hair the feel of your skin. And I don't run from you, Divine Feminine. I run from myself. I don't actually want to lose you. So the masculine realizes how crazy it is when he seems to be running from you because he doesn't want to lose you. And he questions his own behavior. And he thinks, why am I running from you? I don't want to lose you. So why am I pushing you away? Because you are the only one who's ever really mattered to me. So he's saying, yes, I've had relationships before. I may have even been married before. But you're the only one who's ever really mattered to me and touched my heart. And I want to trust myself again. So he's saying, I don't trust myself right now to do things the right way because I'm still learning and I'm still triggered by things and I'm still frustrated. So let me come to you when I do trust myself again to operate in the right energy. So it's not that he doesn't trust himself to be the right person for you. He just needs to be the right time in the right energy because he doesn't want to be around you when he's angry or mad or, you know, obnoxious or saying nasty things because he's projecting his own pain on you. He's saying, I'm triggered. I get annoyed at myself and frustrated and I project that onto you to push you away, running away from you. So I can go within and face myself and my life and deal with what needs to change. You are my mirror. So he's saying, I don't want to lose you. I just need to heal myself first. So hold your vision. So this is really powerful because what the masculine is saying is, in, in August, look at this. In August, I'm finding the strength to hold my vision to be with you. And this question we asked was, you know, when do they intend to be with you? When in their mind are they taking action to you? And he's saying, right now in August, I'm gaining the strength I need. So hold your vision, Divine Feminine. And he's saying, I have a vision of you and I fully intend to act on that vision. 
and I want to bring more playfulness, fun and frolic into our life. So we've got the Halloween energy here. So I feel that some of you are going to be coming together around this time for fun and frolic. And that means playful energy, flirty energy, enjoying each other, kissing each other, being intimate because he dreams about kissing you. And he's saying, I want to have some fun. So this is also a big energy about playfulness. You know, when we see dolphins, it's always a sign to make it more playful and less stressful, to connect more with the inner child than the adult within. Because a lot of the times we stress and we dredge up the past and we try and force things to happen before they're ready or we bring up the future when what we're really being guided to do is to be more present in the here and now. So your mask is saying, I'm thinking about fun. I'm thinking about frolic. I'm thinking about enjoying each other. And I feel that if you operate in that energy divine feminine, if you feel more relaxed, if you surrender, if you go with the flow, if you trust your twin to find his way to you, when he trusts himself to be with you the right way, in the way and the energy that you deserve, then things are going to get you know, get moving forward quicker. And this could happen any time now because in August he's gaining strength and between now and Halloween, he's moving into a higher energy. So the real message I've got coming through here is between now and Halloween, hold your vision. Keep your vision and your intention clear about what you truly want and focus on joy. And it's really interesting we've got the 26 because... Obviously, the energy of that was yesterday, the 26th of August, but also you've got the energy between February and June where he's had this vision to bring the strength in now in August. So make it more playful and fun-filled. And the message for you today, Divine Feminine, is to let go of fear. You may be afraid to let go, but you are learning how to trust the journey. So letting go does not mean you move on. It means you let go of all the struggle by giving those struggles to heaven. It means you surrender. You trust the process and you start living life to the full. And instead of seeking things from your twin and they're giving me fear, wow, a lot of fear being released around that. You know, when you feel you need them to be happy or you feel you need them to be around you at certain times of the year or when you go through something and you're wishing they were there for you and they aren't. Instead of stressing over things, surrender and instead go within for all the answers. Everything you need is already within you because you and your twin are one and your twin lives in you. And everything you need is within and above you because you receive your true bread, everything you truly desire and need from heaven. So go within for the answers. All the answers are within. So sit with this energy and think, how does this resonate with my journey? The energy of between now and Halloween, the energy of now and the end of October. How does this resonate with me? Can I be more playful and more fun-filled and more forgiving and loving. Can I release the past? Is that something I need to do? Can I trust myself to trust my twin? Can I trust the love and the process of it? Can I enjoy the journey more? Can I connect with my twin more on the 5D in an intimate way? Can I forgive my twin from running, realizing that he really run from himself? I understand and have faith and know he doesn't want to lose me. Because I understand and know that really I'm the only one who's ever really mattered to him. I know that because of the feelings, even when he's triggered, even when he's frustrated, even when he's pushing me away, even when he's projecting all his pain onto me. I know that the right thing for me to do is hold my vision and give myself the strength I need, which I get from heaven above. So feminine's big message here that all the answers are within you. All you have to do is surrender to attract this in the right way. And your masculine saying, of course, I want you. Of course, I love you. But I want to be able to trust myself again to give you everything that you truly deserve. So let me do that my way for my reasons. And it will be the best we've ever had. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.